To tell us more about the fallout from this story, we have Benjamin in the studio. Now, Benjamin's 14. He is a Doctor Who fan and he also runs a podcast about film and TV shows. So, thank you for coming in. My pleasure. So, tell us what happened. Essentially, scripts from various shows like Doctor Who, Call the Midwife and Ripper Street were leaked by a, a new office of the BBC uh, overseas. So, it's not actually in England, but it's still the BBC. Uh, and they were sent over there for translation and they were leaked. <gasps> No. So how are fans feeling about this? Well, there's a few groups of fans uh, that are sort of split now. There's the, let's hide from the internet for the next few months. There's going to be spoilers everywhere. There's the fans that don't care if they read them or not. And there are the fans that hunt them out to go and read them immediately. I can see a little friend here is disappointed. He's gone all floppy. Mm, he does look quite sad about it. <laughs> Did you read the script? I read the first one. Um, I was a little bit disappointed that Stephen Moffat hadn't shaken things up as much as he said he would. Um, it still feels like it's written for Matt Smith, but I'm sure the scripts will progress as Cap uh, Peter Capaldi's Doctor progresses. And what do you think of the new Doctor? I, I love uh, having an older actor. I'm a, predominantly a fan of the classic series, so to have a William Hartnell-esque Doctor back is something I'm very much looking forward to seeing. Yep, me too. Thanks so much for coming in, Benjamin. My pleasure.